Hey guys, this is Hydra from x -Trades, back with another video, and in this video we're going to go over how to play the earnings gap up setup. So this is a popular setup that happens over and over um, every earnings season. So four times a quarter there's going to be a, lot, a bunch of opportunities, um, and this earnings gap up strategy works really really well for stocks that have been neglected for a long time um, and have just been like chopping around for a while or been in downtrend for a while so when these stocks have a good earnings report and they end up gapping up eight percent or more with a really big volume um, that's almost always a sign that institutions are loading up into the stock and they are going to get some short-term uh, momentum burst right um, so arm is a very good example arm was consolidating here right forming a nice base and then it had earnings gap up here right really big volume so when you see that that's a sign that institutions are probably loading up into the stock, right? Look at the volume bars before and look at the volume bar on that earnings gap update, right? And this was a really, really big um, gap up. I think it was a gap up 24% and then it went up like all the way up to 65% on the day. But yeah, this was a really, really good example. So this was a really good um, setup on the five minute chart, right? Um, you could have bought it out on the five minute ORB and or <clears throat> and ORB is a very important uh, or it's a very useful strategy that you can use on the intraday chart to get into these earning gap ups. So for example, when the first five minute bar gets taken out, so for example, if uh, actually I'll go through a good example. So this is a stock that recently gapped up. So when this first five minute bar high gets taken out, then you would want to buy and then you would want to place your stop loss at the low of the day so that is a five minute orb and orb again is opening range break so if you enter if you enter the stock that way so let's say you entered on the five minute orb right so you would enter around like 6.48 stop loss would be around like 6.05 ish right and on the daily chart if you were able to buy that over there uh you would have been able to make almost 30% in a couple of days, in three days, right? So very, very big move. So this strategy works really well if you're looking for that like short-term momentum burst. And uh, yeah, Course is a really good example. And I was able to play this one actually. But um, yeah, Course was a really good example. So again, really big volume, right? Big gap up, huge uh, uh, volume, right? And it's breaking out of a base. So this stock has been neglected hasn't been in a strong uptrend right it's been neglected it's been chopping around and it had a big earnings gap up big volume um i took it on the five minute opening range break and uh, yeah this one made 30 percent made a 30 percent move in a very short period of time so this one's a really good example let's go through a couple more um apld this one was a good one last year 2023 right again the stock has been neglected right it's been chopping around it had a very strong earnings gap up here, huge volume, um, yeah, close to 70, close to 80 million dollars volume traded, or 80 million shares traded, right? And this one just completely took off, right? It went from, it opened at $4 and it went all the way up to $11 in a relatively short period of time, right? So again, this is a very, very good short-term momentum. Uh, if you want to find a short-term momentum move, this is a really good strategy to do it. So let's take a look at some other examples. C A M T Cam T Chemtech. Um, so this one also had an earnings gap up over here. Look at the volume bar before and look at this volume bar here, right? Very clear sign that the stock is going to or it is it looks like it's gonna get accumulated, right? Look at this bar. Look at that candle bar, very strong action, really bullish action, right? And then if you were able to buy it on the five minute opening range break, then you would have gotten an entry somewhere within that candle right and then uh, yeah this one ended up doubling right so it's at 38 yeah, entry would have been around 38 dollars and it's at 110 so pretty much tripled in a pretty short period of time but if you are not um if you're not able to trade intraday and you're more of a swing trader the strategy still works uh, you just have to enter a little bit later right uh, so you t typically have to wait for some sort of like flag setup to form. So this was a really good example over here. Very nice flag setup, right? Um, and when this breaks the flag, you could buy over there. 
and then uh, get a position into the stock, right? So even if you bought a little bit later using a swing trade strategy, you would have still doubled your money in a very short period of time. You could have bought at 44 and it's at 109 right now. So yep, uh, let's take a look at more examples. Of course, this one that, uh, a very recent one, and we went over this one just re just now. And then uh, Datadog last year, this one was a really good one in November. So very strong earnings report here, big volume. And then here it formed a very nice flag setup, right? And when it breaks that flag, you buy. And then yeah, this one just completely took off, right? Um, so let's see. 35% relatively short period of time. So, yep. Uh, let's see, let's go through more examples. IoT, the stock gapped up many, many times um, last year. So, IoT, this one's a good one. This one, um, if you were able to buy on this candle, had an earnings report here, reported earnings, and then yeah, this one completely took off. Went from, so let's say you were able to get a five minute opening range entry, right? Or let's just say you bought at the close. Um, you would have made 27% in a week, right? Or two weeks max. But yeah, this is a really nice short-term momentum burst move. And then, yeah, typically they don't always work. Or I mean, typically uh, stocks that have multiple gap ups don't always work. For example, IoT had one gap up here, two gap up here, right? And this is the third one. So the third one wasn't as effective because it already had it's, it's already had a pretty big move, right? So that's why I said uh, before, stocks that have been neglected or stocks that have been chopping around, the strategy typically works the best for them. And of course, again, it's a very good example, right? The stock has been chopping around, big earnings move, and had a, it made a 30% move very, very quickly, right? Um, let's look at a couple more. PLTR, this one was really, really good. Uh, uh, it offered a really, really good opportunity in 2023. PLTR had a very big gap up here, right? Big volume, and they formed a very nice flag set up over here. And when it broke that flag on this candle, it was buyable, and it made a very short period. It made a very big move in a short period of time. Went from nine dollars to seventeen in 22 bars or 22 days. Um, yeah, 77 percent move. So pretty insane. Um, and then, yeah, this one actually did gap up again over here, 20% in eight days. So, yeah, so this strategy, yeah, does work really, really well. Um, you do, <clears throat> you do also get stopped up quite a bit, but the reason that the strategy works really well is that you will get a very good risk reward ratio. So for example, if you're only risking 5%, uh, let's pretend like the, if you were buying on the five minute opening range break you would place your stop at the low of the day, right? And let's say the you're risking about 5%. If you're able to catch 25 to 30% moves, um, the times that you are correct, and you maintain a 50% win ratio, that's all you need to make a lot of money on this setup, right? So yeah, even though the setup might only work 50% 50 of the time, the times that it does work, you will, you will make a lot more money compared to uh, your losers, so. But, all right, last example, Shopify. This one had a very strong earnings gap up over here. Um, and it made a pretty good move. 14% in four days. And then it formed a very nice bull flag here. So this one was actually tradable. Offered a nice uh, short-term momentum. First move here again, 12% move, right? And then uh, it did offer a really, really good opportunity once again, last November, had a very strong gap up. This time it flagged a little bit above, but that's okay. So I would say like the setup was over here, right? You could have bought as it was breaking this, and then it gapped up again, and then yeah, it completely just took off, right? So if you bought if you bought on the close of the gap up day, uh, would, you would have made 40% in a relatively short period of time. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope... Uh, I hope this was helpful and I hope that you guys are able to implement this strategy um, into your trading now. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in.
There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with the trading mentor today, completely free of charge.